I am T with Jackie P or Jackie, Jackie P. I love makeup and all things beauty. So if you are into that kind of stuff, feel free to give this video a like and subscribe because like I said, I post every week. So you'll get a video from me every single week. And hello to all my new subscribers and hello to all my old subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I appreciate you guys. I'm super excited that I made it to 101 subscribers. Like that is amazing. I have 101 friends that watch my videos and that's just cool. I know that is a small number in comparison to some other people's channels, but it is a big deal for me. And I am excited to keep growing this channel and growing my friend group. <laughs> just the feels. So today I am filming a review video on these Makeup Revolution liquid highlighting drops. I don't even know if that's what the real technical term is. So these are a dupe for the Cover FX highlighting drops and these retail for nine dollars and I'm super excited to try them. I don't have any foundation or primer or anything on my face. I'm gonna do something a little differently and film the intro without doing my foundation. And then I'm gonna do my foundation and we will see how these perform. I'm super excited to try these out and if these work, my life will be forever changed. If you guys wanna know how these Makeup Revolution highlighting drops work, keep watching and we will just get into the video. So these liquids retail for $9 and you can find them online on their website or I purchased these from Ulta. I want to kind of use these as a primer and a highlighter, kind of like the Farsali uh, liquid drops that everyone uses, like the unicorn drops and stuff. So we will just see if these work nicely. So for this collection, they have about seven to nine, I can't remember the correct amount, but they have quite a few like colors of these drops and it's super cool because they range from anywhere from a champagne color they have one called unicorn elixir which is more of a white frosty holographic style shade and in between they have gold and other things like that i only picked up two shades from the collection and i got liquid starlight and liquid champagne and i will insert some swatches for you guys and they are dropper style and you get 0.61 fluid ounces of liquid in here and I feel like for nine dollars this is huge like this is you get a lot of product in here I don't know how the liquid is gonna come out but we will see I want to test liquid starlight as my primer and I'm going to do the liquid champagne one as my actual highlight so we will just see how these perform. I'm so nervous, I don't know why. This is like really metallic, so I'm a little afraid. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on here and I'm going to just put it on my face like this. So I didn't really get a lot of product with the dropper initially. It is a little bit thick, so it's kind of hard to like get it in there. And I'm just putting it. Ooh, dude, oh. This might be a mistake. I don't really know if I should have done this. I'm gonna take my wet Real Techniques sponge and just pat it around my face like so. It's not really moving around a lot, but then again, it's probably not meant to be all over your face like this. And wow, <laughs> look at the, oh my God, my forehead looks disgusting. So now that I have that on my skin right now, I feel like it has like a good base to it. Obviously I'm not gonna walk out in the public eye like this, looking really greasy and everything, but it does have a nice finish to it. And I'm a little surprised at the finish for it, I thought I was gonna look a little bit more Tin Man than I look, so I'm kind of happy about that. There definitely is glitter in here, so it is very luminizing, but it's very fine glitter and not chunky, so that is good. And so I'm gonna go put on my foundation on top of here. So now that I have my foundation on, first impression is my skin looks healthy, like luminous and dewy. 
I kind of really like it a little bit. I'm going to finish it off with powder, but right now I feel like my skin does look a little bit more dewy than I would like, but it looks healthy and refreshed. And now we are going to test this out as a highlight, which it is what it's supposed to do. So I have the two colors here. I did use a starlight or liquid starlight for the primer. I'm going to use liquid champagne as my highlight. And so we will see how that goes. And I'm going to apply with my finger this time because the sponge didn't really help a lot. So I want to see if the using a sponge works a little bit better. And it was very pigmented. So I'm just gonna use a little, little bit. And I'm just going to dab it on my face like that. My <laughs> disgusting fingernail, so sorry. It's definitely blending out a lot better with my finger than it, it felt like it was with the sponge. So overall, first impression for as a highlighter, I really like it a lot, actually. The glitter is very fine, like I said earlier, and it just gives you like a healthy like glow. I feel like my skin looks so nice right now. I'm going to just go ahead and finish up with my bronzer and my setting powder and then I will go ahead and show you what it would look like with a powder highlight on top of it and I'm going to use a Makeup Revolution highlighter on top of it. So I will be right back. So now I'm going to just go over this highlighter with a Makeup Revolution highlighter in the Baked highlighter in the color Radiant Lights. This is one of my favorite highlighters and I just want to add an extra glow to it because like I said, it's a very natural, subtle highlight. It's not like blinding and not that I want to look fake or anything, but I just want to set the highlight with a powder and so what better way to do it than set it with some highlighters. And it really is amplifying the highlight, so I really like it a lot. I'm kind of obsessed. So overall, I would highly suggest these highlighters. If you are really into a blinding highlight, I'm sure these are super buildable and you can get a blinding highlight, but for someone who likes a subtle glow to their makeup or is just experimenting with different types of makeup and the drops from Cover Effects are too expensive for you, I think these are really fun to buy and to experiment with. I think they give you a nice, healthy glow to your skin, whether you use it underneath your foundation, mixed in with your foundation, or put on top as just like the highlighting drops like they're supposed to be used. I think these are a really good buy. So that is my opinion on these Makeup Revolution liquid highlighters. I would highly recommend these. If you guys have any products that you guys want me to try, let me know in the comments down below and I will try to find those products and test them out for you guys. I probably will do a lot of testing for this brand in general just because I find their brand super affordable and I just like a lot of their products. I'm not sponsored by them whatsoever. I just really enjoy their makeup. That is all for this video. If you guys liked it, don't forget to like it and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Liquids. Oh, what am I saying? Like,